Hi everyone, this is Anthony. I'm reviewing the Newton Fate today. I ran uh, cross country and track in middle school, high school, and college, uh, primarily long distance in track and field. Um, 3200, uh, 5K, uh, sometimes the 10K. I've tried a lot of different shoes, a lot of different brands, uh, but never the Newton, so I'm excited to try it out today. Um, here we go. The Fate is an everyday trainer and race shoe. The Fate weighs 9.4 ounces and has the POP2 platform with a heel-to-toe drop of 4.5 millimeters. This shoe does not have the extended medial bridge like other Newtons do. The Fate felt a bit roomier, so be sure to check the sizing to get the right fit for you. There's nothing worse than a shoe that's a little bit too big or a little bit too small. Out of the box, I wasn't sure about Newton quality or durability, especially having limited exposure to this brand. Having run in them, it seems like the Fate will hold up like other brands you might be familiar with. Mileage should not be an issue with the Fate. So now that you've heard some specifics about the shoe, here's my take on it. When I first put the shoe on, the pop technology across the ball of the foot almost made it feel like I was going to trip. But then when I started running in it, it really forced me to run on the front of my foot. Um, and it was also acting as a nice soft cushion too. Um, these shoes run for uh, $129, uh, which is a pretty good deal for running shoes, um, in my opinion. And uh, I had a great time running in them. Um, there's only one way for you to find out if you like them or not, and that's to try it out. So uh, go out, try a pair, and uh, hope you enjoy.